Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. In this video, guys, I'll be showcasing the seven best plugins for better Discord in 2023. I'll quickly explain all the useful features found in each one of them and why they're amazing to have. And also make sure you have better Discord installed as it's required for the plugins to work. All the links towards the plugins and better Discord are in the description, so make sure you check it out to not miss anything. But guys, hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. Now, in the description, you'll also find a link to download an archive containing all these plugins, so you don't need to download them one by one. Some of them actually require another one, which is a library, and the libraries that will be required for the plugins I'm going to be covering are Xenolib, BDFDB, and Xeris plugin library. And of course, they're going to be found in the description. So let's start off with the first one on the list, which is Message Logger. Message Logger allows you to save all the deleted and purged messages, as well as edit history and ghost pings. You can even restore deleted messages after restarting Discord. And the required libraries for this plugin to work are Xenlib and Xeris plugin library. So let me quickly show you how it works. And the first thing that you want to do is go into Discord, user settings, go to plugins, open up the plugins folder. And as you can see, it's currently empty. And what you want to do is make sure you have message logger downloaded from the link in the description and put it right here. So there we go. And as you can see, it's currently shown here. And to enable it, just click on this. There we go. It should actually pop up a message for some reason it doesn't pop up the message. Let me quickly restart Discord. So yeah, I just restarted Discord and this was the pop-out I was talking about. Um, basically, it shows the missing libraries and you can just click on download and I'm going to be saving this here and this one as well. So after downloading the libraries, make sure you just copy and paste them in the folder. They have to be in the same folder as um, the base plugin. Then you can close this. Uh, you have this gigantic help section. Actually, it's not that important. You can just dismiss this message. There we go. Okay, go back to user settings plugins and make sure they're enabled. There we go. Now it will correctly work. Uh, so let's just try it out and go to random channel, for example, this one. So let's write a random message. Hello. There we go. And the amazing part comes here. You can right click, delete the message. Yes. Now as you can see, it's still here. Message deleted from Decent Gods and we can still see the message. But if you want to get rid of this, you can right click again, go to message logger and remove from log. And there we go. It's a pretty basic yet very useful uh, plugin. Now, I think this plugin is banned from Better Discord. Actually, Better Discord, it's still against the terms and services uh, of Discord, but this plugin is even banned from Better Discord. So you can use it at your own risk, but it's a very, very cool plugin to have. So that's pretty much it about this one. The next one is called Notification Sounds. So basically it allows you to replace the native sounds with custom sounds. And in this video, I'm actually going to be covering how you can use TeamSpeak sounds on Discord. Now the required library you need to have is BDFDB. So that will also be in the description. And let me show you how it works. So let's go ahead and open this up again. And let me quickly copy and paste this notification sounds.plugin.js. There we go. Library missing, the library blah, blah, blah. Click on download now. And this actually downloaded the plugin directly in the directory of the plugins. So let's go ahead and enable it. Go back to plugins. There we go. And notification sounds as well. Should be working. Let me quickly show you how you can customize settings. Click on this settings. This is the global notification sounds volume. You can see all the sounds that you can modify, but I'm going to be quickly showing you how I can replace the Discord sounds with TeamSpeak sounds. I'm going to be changing the microphone sounds. Yes. And let me show you how I can do that. You have two categories that you have to keep in mind. First one is mute and unmute. Let me just search for TeamSpeak, right click, open file location. There we go. Go to sound defaults. And I'm going to be using these two mic muted and mic activate. So these two sounds. Uh, let me quickly copy this directory. Go back in here. So the first one mute sound name microphone muted. Browse the file. 
uh, mic muted, save, roll down, mute, mute, microphone sound, muted. microphone, microphone muted. muted, done, there we go, it's saved, and let's do the same thing for the microphone activated, so for this we're going to be adding again a new sound, unmute, microphone activated, browse file, roll down, mic activated, save, and as you can see, you can also remove some sounds if you don't want to use them anymore. Scroll, unmute, mute. Microphone, acti microphone activated. And there we go. Done. So let's quickly try it out. Microphone muted. Microphone activated. And as you can see, it works. So yeah, it's pretty amazing to have. Now, of course, it's not useful. It's just fun to have. And so you can modify every single sound of Discord. So that's pretty much it about this plugin. Let's move on to the next one, which is called Better Animations. So this actually improves your whole Discord experience by adding so many animations, uh, by switching guilds, channels, pop-ups, messages. It's very customizable and it requires you Xeris plugin library to work. Now we already have that downloaded, so we can just drag and drop the plugin and enable it. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, I just pasted plugin blah 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 the change log go back to settings and enable it and to modify all the settings click on this as you can see we have guild animations channel animations setting messages settings animations messages pop outs and so many different things let's just try it out with messages so for example new message reveal animation we have slip scale backwards scale let's try this one for example done let's try the message and yeah, this is how it looks like. This is amazing. Let's try it out on something else. Um, and yeah, actually, when you're switching the section as well, we have a little animation. Some are enabled by default. By default, I don't know which one is enabled by default for this. Okay, let's put channel animations. We have slip up, slide down. Let's do scale left, for example. And no, so this is for... Unfortunately, I don't exactly know what guild is. Guild, what is guild? But this, for example. Okay, this is not guild. I click on this. Oh, so this is the guild. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, so it just, it just looks amazing. But yeah, that's pretty much it about it. What the hell just happened? When I switch the server, it just flips. Okay, that's, that's cool, I guess. So that's pretty much it about this plugin. Let's move on to the next one, which is image utility. So it adds several utilities for images, videos. You can just store them in a gallery. You can download them. You can reverse search them. You can zoom, copy, etc. So let me quickly show you. I think this one doesn't require any library. I might be wrong though, but let's go ahead and install it. So image utilities, paste. There we go. Go back to settings. There we go. And let's enable it. Okay, new features, click zoom mode, added option, blah, blah, blah. So let's try it on a random image. I'm just literally going to write image on Google. For example, take this one, copy this image, uh, and let's, for example, paste it, I don't know, right here, for example. There we go. Oh, this image is actually pretty heavy. Okay. And as you can see, we have a download button, the name, the size, the resolution as well. And if we right click, we can go to image actions. We can copy the link, open link, copy image, view image. This is actually just a zoomed version. We can also change the zoom settings. For example, putting something like this, zoom speed as well. If we click again, a bit more zoomed, should be more zoomed. Let's do this a bit more. It actually doesn't change anything because this is the resolution. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's a very simple plugin, yet very useful. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one, which is actually one of the best on this list. It's Yab DP for Nitro. I don't know why they chose this weird name, but this actually is one of the best free Nitro plugins for better Discord. It's very customizable. You can change the screen share quality to like 60 FPS, change the bitrate. You can also change the resolution of your camera. You can use animated emojis and it's basically going to use them as links, embedded links instead of reactions and default emojis. You can change to Nitro client themes and also profile accents. So let me show you how it works. Let's open up this folder again. And for this, I think we need Xeris library. So this one, if I'm correct, there we go. It's loaded up. So let's enable it. 
and we can directly customize some settings. Screen share features, as you can see, 1080p 60 FPS. We can also add a custom screen share resolution, also a custom FPS. So for example, 144, I can add 144 FPS. We can also add a custom bitrate. So I'm gonna be leaving this like that. Emojis, we can add custom emojis, of course. I'm gonna be showing that as well. A custom camera resolution and also profile accents and change premium type. I don't exactly know what this is. This is not optimal. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't actually know what this is. I'm not going to enable this. And also gradient client themes. So these are some Nitro exclusive client themes that you can enable. And yeah, I actually just enjoy using the better Discord themes because they're a bit more advanced. And yeah, let me quickly show you most of the interesting features. So for example, streaming. Let's join a random channel, share my screen, screen one. And as you can see, 144 FPS and 1400p. Uh, let's click on go live. And as you can see, should be, yes, it's very smooth. It's 144 FPS. I do actually have a 144 Hertz monitor so I can see the difference. And it's just amazing to have. There we go. Uh, let me quickly show you the emojis as well. So for the emojis, let's go on this channel again. For example, click on this. Uh, this is animated paste uh and there we go so that's pretty amazing i don't know if this actually works for reactions let's no it doesn't actually work unfortunately so yeah let me quickly show you the custom profile so this is how it looks like custom theme this is pretty awesome and the last section that is amazing is of course in appearance the custom gradients so for example i don't know let's choose oh this one seems quite nice okay there we go escape and this is how it looks like so yeah that's pretty much it about this plugin let's move on to the sixth one on the list which is a very simple yet useful plugin for discord and it's basically a translation plugin which is called translator now if i'm correct you can also change the source of the translation but by default it's just google translate so let me quickly show you this plugin let's paste it in here translator.plugin.js go back to settings plugins and enable it there we go. And if we go into settings, now as you can see, we can add some custom services, but the default one does the job. So uh, let's, for example, say something in French. Salut, comment ça va? There we go. Right click and translate message. Hi, how are you? Let me write the same thing, for example, in, in Romanian. Uh, ciao, boyets, ce facets. There we go, right click, translate message. Hi guys, what are you doing? So yeah, as you can see, it also shows it's been translated. For example, when you edit a message, like right here, it's written edited. You can also see with message logger, the message that was before being edited. And in this case, it's written translated. So yeah, that's a pretty useful plugin to have, especially if you're on servers where they speak other languages, you can directly translate the messages. Okay, so the last one on this list is called show badges in chat, which is a very popular plugin and basically displays all the badges right next to people's names. So let me show you how it works. I just closed the plugins folder. Let me open it up again. Show badges in chat. There we go. And let's enable it. And as you can see, I only have one badge, but let's see on another server, for example, this one. Now on this server, people have even more badges and it just looks amazing. Also on the sidebar, it takes a bit of time to load actually, as you can see. There we go. And yeah, it's, it's a very simple plugin, but it just looks amazing. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it interesting. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, make sure to ask any questions down below or on my Discord server. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.